Hey guys, welcome back to the Make Me Lab. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Last week I did a video on the basics of using relays with Arduino. I kept it really simple and I got an interesting comment on the video. Anya said it would be cool to add a relay to the Raspberry Pi attached to a 3D printer with Octoprint, have a script so that if something goes extremely wrong you can cut the power going to the 3D printer. This struck a bit of a chord with me as it's something that I've always wanted to do and I responded back. Told them this is something I always wanted to do for some time, add both a temp sensor and a smoke detector, use them as inputs to control the power on the printer. He responded back he should make a video about it and guide us through it. Well Anyel, your wish is my command. Today I took the time to whip up some code and do the basic circuit on how anyone can use a cheap Arduino to add some safety to the 3D printer. As many know, the safety side of 3D printers is yet to catch up on these uh, commercial units. Many don't have much for temperature or smoke or fire protection. It's not that hard for us to add it, and they really should come with it, but we'll go ahead and add something. Today's parts will use an Arduino Nano, an MQ2 smoke and gas sensor, as well as we'll start with a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, just because it's what I have and a lot of other people have them too. Keep in mind the DHT11 does have limitations for temperature. Let's go down to the bench and we'll see how the circuit works. So what I've gone ahead and done, I've taken a simple Arduino Nano, hooked it up to the DHT11 and an MQ2 smoke sensor. We're using digital pin 13 on the Nano to output for the relay. We're using the 5 volt from the Arduino to power both sensors of ground as well as our two other pins and we'll outline those in the code. DHT11 just needs the sense line as well as the power and ground. The MQ2 we're using the VN, the ground and the digital output line. We've got our hot line running through the relay contacts. Our neutral and our ground are not disturbed by the relay and the relay is hooked up to the Arduino and we'll outline that in the code. With the system powered up and working normally, the Arduino allows power through the relay contacts, no problem. This will allow us to print normally until something bad happens. Now seeing as how our MQ2 will react to butane the same as smoke, we can go ahead and give it a shot here. And there we go, we've killed power to our printer. Done deal. It's just that simple. Now the DHT11 has limitations of 50C, so it's not real good if you wanted to measure inside your printer enclosure, but this would work outside. And to do one inside, to add, a, say, another extruder temp monitoring, it's very easy. We'll just add it into the code and use one of the many other pins we've got to work with. This way we have a standalone system external from the printer Arduino control. Uh, much, much better in my opinion than trying to hack into the firmware. You could do that if you really wanted to, it'd be no problem, you have the pins, but this allows fully external control and it's fail safe. If we remove power, boom, we've lost the power to the printer. It's fail safe that way. This system needs to be intact and all variables within limits for the printer to operate. It's just that simple. We'll go ahead and go upstairs and I'll show you the code how I wrote this. I whipped it together in no time, it's by no means complete, but we'll give you a place to get started. So back up from the bench, let's take a quick look at how I made the code. I kept this super simple for anyone. The comments here at the beginning, just to tell you what the code is. We're going to use the define dht.h library. This is the Adafruit DHT11 library. Uh, this will work just fine as long as you're aware of the limits of the sensor, the 50 degree limit. We define the smoke pin, that's going to be from our smoke and gas sensor, the MQ2. We're using the digital output from that. We're using relay pin 13 to control the relay, to control the power to the printer. We're going to globalize some variables. T we're going to use as temperature, smoke state, alarm temp. Uh, I set it at 48 here and I'll set that sensor outside my cabinet and then I'll add another one inside later on. In the void setup, really, really simple. Start our serial just for our debugging code. Pin mode, relay pin output. Pin mode smoke pin is going to be an input. DHT begin, no problems. I broke the loop out into two subsections, temp functions and alarm. Temp functions, all we're doing is reading the temperature from the DHT11. And we print it out to serial here and store it in the variable T. The alarm is really, really simple. We look at smoke state, we do a digital read of the smoke pin. This is going to check and see if the MQ2 has sensed smoke or gas. 
shut it off if there's danger. So if T is greater than alarm temp, which we set at 48, or smoke state equals equals low, that's just equals in Arduino speak, digital write relay pin high. That's it. That will kill the power to the printer. This is fail safe. My relays are inverted in this case, so a high actually turns the relay off. By default, the relay is gonna be off, so that if you lose power to the Arduino or anything goes wrong in your code, it's gonna kill the power. Else, we write the D relay pin low, done, nothing to it. Serial print line, relay, relay, okay. If we fire up the serial monitor with this running, not much to see, I didn't put a lot of serial monitoring in, but you can see system okay, and our current temperature in here, right where it is, is at 28C. If I go ahead and trigger the MQ2, we should see that system okay go away, and we did. I just used some butane to trigger it because it's sensitive to that as well as smoke. That's it. This will control the power to your 3D printer. You can go ahead and add as many more sensors as you want. Just remember, keep your system fail safe so that everything needs to be okay for the power to be on. That's it, nothing to it. You can make a safety system for any 3D printer regardless of what board is operating it, whether it be a Pi or a Ramps or anything that operates them, it doesn't matter. We're controlling it externally. It's just that simple, guys. Remember, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear if this was helpful. Hopefully you have some good luck in your electronics ventures. Cheers, guys.